rings under a tree are not only pretty, they are useful as well. This is Rhonda Furry with the University of Illinois Extension. Tree rings make it easier to mow around trees without injuring them. Without a tree ring, this pin oak would have to be limbed up, thus ruining its natural habit. Rings also reduce trunk damage from equipment, such as the damage you see here that was probably caused by a weed eater or a mower. Some trees provide such dense shade under their canopy that grass will not survive. As the tree grows, the rings may need to be extended over time, often extending to the tree's drip line. There are many ways to make a tree ring. Let's look at three options here. First, you can strip the sod under the tree using a spade like you see I'm doing here. Be careful not to go too deep. A sharp spade will help you gently cut the grass root at the soil surface, removing only a small section of grass. This method is labor intensive, but provides instant results. The second method uses chemicals. If you are okay using herbicides, Roundup is a good option. Since Roundup is a non-selective systemic product, it kills all types of plants and moves into roots to kill the entire plant. As long as you don't spray the tree or its leaves, Roundup will not harm the tree's roots since it has no soil activity. However, be careful not to spray any suckers on the tree that are attached to it. Give the Roundup a day or so to begin moving in the plant before covering with mulch. It may take the chemical a week or two to completely kill some weeds. Finally, you can try covering the weeds with landscape fabric or cardboard to smother them, and then cover that with some type of a mulch. Regardless of the method, be sure not to injure the tree while creating the protective ring. Some trees, particularly oaks, will suffer if their root environment is changed significantly. Don't dig too deep. If you plan to add flowers or shade perennials into the circle, do not add more than one to two inches of soil and don't build a raised bed over the tree roots within the drip line. To help reduce competition from grass or flowers, mulch is often a better choice. There are many different types of mulch. Natural mulches, such as shredded bark, look good and don't tend to heat up the root zone as much as some other mulches. Mulch also keeps soil moisture and temperature levels more uniform. To be sure the mulch doesn't harm the tree, only add two to four inches of mulch and keep it away from the tree trunk. Mulch also helps control weeds. If you do not use mulch and are okay using chemicals, a pre-emergent herbicide such as preen can help on small seeded weeds such as crabgrass to keep them from germinating. It also works well over mulch. Tree rings take some time to make, but in the end, the results are well worth it. You can find more information on landscape plants at our University of Illinois Extension website shown here, or you can post questions and see other gardening tips at one of my IL River Hort social media sites serving Fulton, Mason, Peoria, and Tazewell counties.